Thank you for $10 from Bucket Codes 9456 I've watched your recent videos, they ask. And I don't know where I should put my money in 2026. You can put it right in my pocket. Ha ha! Sorry, it's a joke. Um, HC0, DJI, Walksnail, Ascent, Artlink, Analog, not to buy, uh, not to buy, just to replace. If you had nothing, what would you buy? I got to tell you, the Ascent and Artlink, the new systems from Cadex, uh, and, uh, and beta FPV, it's too preliminary. They have a lot of promise. We just don't know. If you buy into one of those systems, know that you are a trailblazer and you may find that it's a dead end. The system may not get future development. It may just peter out. You may find that it develops slowly. You will probably will find that the performance is not as good as you might like because the first iteration of these things is always like kind of a little bit like, ah, and then it gets better, right? So I would say if you're like looking to buy something that you know you can count on, the new systems from Cadex and Beta FPV, the Artlink and the Protos, they're not what you should get. You should know that you're kind of like a guinea pig and a trailblazer. And that's fine if you want to be that. They're pretty cool. Um, I'm waiting for the Beta FPV Art Link, Art Link system uh, to come in the mail. It hasn't come yet. I'm looking forward to testing it. I tested the Cadex Protos and I thought it had some potential, but I thought the latency was kind of screwed up. Um, as in, like, high. So what does that leave? Analog, DJI, Walksnail, HC0. If you're in the USA and you don't already own DJI, I wouldn't blame you if you hesitated today. You can get DJI air units pretty easily. You can get the O4 Pro by buying from Flywoo. Flywoo is repackaging them and shipping them in. Um, but the goggles, I don't know. Can you buy DJI goggles in the USA today? Not very easily, I don't think. Like... Uh, they are more likely to get caught up in a, like the air unit, you put it in a fly, like what are they going to rebrand them as, are the goggles as Flywoo now? I don't know, maybe. I think the future is uncertain. If you already own DJI goggles though, uh, you could probably get more air units. I'm going to guess that you don't though. And I wouldn't blame you if you hesitated. If you're outside the US, DJI is like clearly the best performance uh, of any of the systems in almost every way, except latency. If you uh, felt like getting a set of the goggles, you can still get them. If you want to commit to that system, it's very good. And you, uh, you just buy them, buy the goggles, and then you just hope you can continue to get the air units for the foreseeable future. Walksdale, not quite as good a performance as DJI, but probably will continue to be available because no one, they're not on anybody's radar. Analog, inexpensive and unlikely to be difficult to get ever. This is the safest bet, but the worst, worst performance. And then HD zero, excellent latency, great for, great for racing, probably will still be available for the foreseeable future. Which one would I pick? Uh, I got to tell you, so here's the thing. If I were building a drone today, I would probably put an O4 air unit in it just for me to personally fly. As long as it wasn't a racing drone, if it was for racing, I would put HD zero in it. Okay. But I already own DJI goggles and I'm already well invested in the DJI ecosystem. And I also am pretty confident that if I had to pull some strings or spend a little bit of money, like if I... If DJI was completely banned and for some reason I was like, I must get some DJI equipment, I would just kind of put some feelers out and someone would send it to me, you know, and I would get it. So that may not be everybody's situation. Um, if I were starting from scratch, I would be mighty tempted in the USA to just go analog and be like, I can't deal with all this. Let's just give it a year and see how it shakes out. Analog isn't terrible. It's not as good as digital. But it's like simple and inexpensive and like, ah. Uh, I've heard rumors it may not be inexpensive forever. I've heard rumors that the Richwave chip that goes in analog receivers is like quadrupling in price because Richwave figured out that people are buying a bunch of analog gear to put into weapon drones. 
in Ukraine and elsewhere. And Rich Wave was, I don't know if that's true. So, uh, if I had nothing, what would I buy? If I had nothing in the USA, it wouldn't be DJI because I just wouldn't feel confident I could still get it. It probably wouldn't be Waxnail because Waxnail is like, Waxnail is as expensive as DJI, but like still not really that quite as good in terms of performance. It's like, okay. I probably would just go analog and it's like, it's shitty, but at least it's not too expensive. And I can get it anywhere. You know what I mean? I probably would just be analog. I'm kind of disgusted. Anyway. 